www.cc. Check out what's happening at our church. Hey, thanks for joining us. We realize that many of you here might be visitors. If this is your first time here, we want to encourage you to grab one of our Connect cards in the seat pocket in front of you. Fill it out with all of your information, then bring it over to the cafe following the service, and one of our cafe workers would be thrilled to meet you and give you a special treat just on us. Also, we'll make a point to connect with you during the week and give you a special gift. We want you to know that we have a place for you here within our church family. As usual, there's lots of stuff happening here at FCC. Here are just a few special events that we want to make you aware of. Every Tuesday, we meet here at the church sanctuary at 7 p.m. for prayer and worship. This is a great opportunity to dive deep into prayer and to lift up the needs of our church and our community. Even if you can only come for part of the service, we still want to encourage you to come on out. It's going to be a great night. Young adults, Sunday, June 16th, make sure to come on out to the avenue. We're going to be having our next 5 for 5, a night of testimony, devotionals, words of encouragement, and much more. Don't miss out. Also, we just want to make you aware of our men's Bible study happening for young adults. We've been meeting every Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. up in the small groups room. This is a great opportunity for those in all stages of the spiritual walk to come together. We'd love to have you join us. Also, we've put a sign-up sheet for our upcoming men's conference in, out in the foyer. You'll be hearing more about this event later on in a video, but make sure to sign up online or in the foyer after the service. If you missed anything I've said, or simply wanting to discover more about what, what we do here at FCC, visit our website. Also, we have our very own mobile app available for free in the Apple and Android app stores, providing quick and easy access to our online giving, as well as many other valuable resources. Make sure to stay in the loop. Many of you may not know, but long before I ever became a pastor here, I spent my elementary years at this church. The church, as I remember it, used to be up in the fellowship hall in the kitchen where our sanctuary used to be. So every time I walk into the kitchen and I see this oven, I think of the stage. I think of this yellow cross, orangey cross that used to be behind the stage. And I think about the spot where I was baptized. It was such an important moment in my life when I chose by my own actions to say that I wanted to identify with Christ and what he had done for me. If you're really new to the church, you might not even know that we have a tank built right into our stage. Sunday, June 30th, we're gonna be having a water baptism service at our church and we would love for you to participate. Now this is a command and a great action step that Jesus has given us to identify with his death and resurrection, that we symbolically lay our lives underneath the water to identify with his death and resurrection, but also to say that we put down our old self and we start the new life with him in a public setting. If you wanna be a part of this, we would love for you to do that. If you just wanna go on our website, at familychristiancenter.org, under this tab, Next Steps, you'll find a section about water baptism that will give you our teaching on water baptism, as well as a form that you can fill out so that we know that you're interested. Of course, as well, if you wanna have a conversation, please feel free to talk to any of our staff members and we'd love to encourage you in this way. Hey, we're calling all men on June 21st and 22nd to join us for our annual men's conference happening at the church. On Friday at 7 p.m., we're having our first session with Pastor Paul Fraser, all the way from PEOC in Edmonton, who's gonna come and bring a dynamic word. And then on Saturday at 10 a.m., we're having a breakfast at the church and followed by another session. And then at 2 p.m., we're meeting here at the Baseball Diamond for a baseball game and fun. And then at our last session at 7 p.m., we're having Pastor Paul Fraser bring the word in a time of worship. You won't want to miss out. The cost of this is $20, and that includes everything that is taking place. This is just a great opportunity to deepen your relationship with Jesus and just to go to a deeper level. As men, we have a responsibility to stand and be the front lines for our families, to stand up for what we believe in in our workplaces, everywhere we are, everywhere that we have a place of influence, to stand and rise and stand out against the crowd. So you don't want to miss this weekend as we stand and take a stand for what we believe in as followers of Jesus. Come on out. Hi everybody. At the start of July, my family is going to be driving down to Canyon Buena Vista, Mexico with a trailer, thanks Sean, to uh, help out a community that is, has a lot of poverty and addiction issues. Uh, my beautiful wife and our girls have lived there in the past and uh, it's really been tugging at our heart lately to, to lend some hope to that community. 
and we all know that Jesus Christ is the greatest hope of all. We're teaming up with a local church to bring hope to that community by bringing food and clothing. If you're cleaning out your closet, we would appreciate it if you had some extra clothing, shoes or toys that is in good shape, if you would consider donating it so that it could be given to these people in need. While in Mexico, we're gonna hold an event with food for the hungry, clothes for the needy, and fun for those whose daily life is difficult. This will be the start of bringing practical relief and the hope of Jesus Christ to a people in need. We will be in the lobby of the church after both services on June 16th and 23 to accept donations and let you know more about what we're doing. Or you can contact us at the email or phone number on the screen.